I, I've never actually done that. <laughs> what you saw on the show, that was all manufactured to, to look easy. It was a huge show. I didn't know you guys. I felt like I was from another planet. Perfect. I would punch him in the arm when I forgot a line. I remember that. I'd be like, oh! And then they're like, oh, do that on camera. But the diaper wire cuts off your arteries. I passed out. And like next thing I knew, I woke up, I was on the ground, and everyone's looking at me like, we got to do the next scene, OK? Please welcome Tom, Erica, and Laura from Smallville! I mean, at the beginning, super speed was me running, you know, from, you know, half a block away, <laughs> hitting a mark without breathing or sweating, you know what I mean? And then at the end, it was somebody else running through the mark, and then I would do the last two steps because they realized they could just switch it. But that was a, we learned that throughout. Um, and it, it saves time for production and, it, and everything else, so it was good. And, but we, you know, we were doing wire work and stuff, and that was a learning curve. <laughs> but you were doing wire work before I got there, no? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. It, he's, uh, something happened to you when you were doing the wire. I think that's what he's angling for. Is that, is that what you're angling for? I mean, I wasn't going to bring it up. <clears throat> Please tell us. I'm very interested in this now. I passed out in the wire. <laughs> Listen. The, she was they, like 40 feet in the air, and I look over and she's like. <laughs> they had out. to create a wire. Because of my Daisy Dukes and my crop top, we, I couldn't have a proper wire it would show. So they basically made like a diaper <laughs> wire and then an upper bra wire. But the diaper wire cuts off your arteries. So that's a fun thing. Ooh. And I was just up there too long, and I passed out. And like next thing I knew, I woke up, I was on the ground, and everyone's looking at me like, we got to do the next scene. OK. Did you get the shot, though? Yeah, it's actually well, I like, I remember blacking out. I can, the shot that they actually used, I was not present. My eyes were open, but I was <laughs> not there. But I did, like the, I did like the wire work. It was outside of that one moment. It was great. You guys, what are some of your favorite parts of the stories that you got to tell as your characters? Well, you know, I, I think you set that up in the in the sense that it's it's more fun to to tell the origin part of the story. The how do you find yourself? I, I think that's relatable for everybody. I think that that's what draws us as our, as artists too. But you want to find out what it what it was that developed them into these other things. We've already seen the you know the depiction of of the characters that have found themselves, but in their, you know, in their history, and, and mm. they get to stumble, and they get to be clumsy, and they get to try to figure it out, and so I think that that, I mean, for me, um, was, was interesting to me, and also my saving grace, because if they kind of were like, she's not like Lois, and I was like, well, she hasn't developed into Lois yet. It was like my, my And the fact that you, and, uh, well, your character and Clark just did not like each other from the very beginning, and thinking, how are they going to stretch this out? How are they going to get to the point where the that respect is there? <laughs> were, were, was it tough working together in that sort of? Absolutely. <laughs> it was, yeah, we just hated each other from the get-go. Oh. Tough times. No, it was fun. It was, it was a lot of fun. But yeah, you, building the tension between the characters was, you know, I think they, they both had some growing to do to get to where it ended up. And that was fun to play. I think that we also had, like, really specific discussions at points where it was, like, even of, like, when are they actually gonna like both look at each other and have that recognition? Or when are they gonna touch hands? And when are we gonna allow that to happen? And all those things are so significant. Mm. And if you kind of like try to try to lead, it was just the along. punches in the arm that kind of went. Yeah, th there's something there. Yeah. Did you enjoy punching Tom in the arm? Did you used to go really yeah, hard? Yeah, I used to. Erica used to. I'm talking in the third person, but mm. I used to. As I got more comfortable, it was like I would punch him in the arm when I forgot a line. I remember that. I'd be like, oh! And then they're like, oh, do that on camera. Yeah. So. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> Just a punching bag. Yep. A little bit, maybe more shy than Lois most of the time. Um, but if I have to, and I'll sink my teeth into something and, and, and not give up and um, uh, not complain about stuff and just kind of suck it up and do what I have to do. And, um, but yeah, I, I guess I, I'm also... I got a bit of a flip switch. I am a bit of a smart ass. <laughs> Sometimes. Um, I would say probably her stubbornness, especially in season seven. Uh, I like to 
have my own opinion about things, and if someone com um, confronts me about it and has an alternative opinion, I have trouble accepting that, but as Kara grew on the show, so did I, and I became open to learning and understanding. But yeah, season seven, I was very similar to her in that I'm like, nope, this is the way I'm doing it. And so I think we grew together in that. Erica wearing stiletto as well, superhero outfit. Was it great getting to wear those outfits and poor Tom, all he got was a t-shirt? I hated my outfit. <laughs> so beautiful it was Sorry, daisy dukes a and a crop top yeah, i mean you owned it yeah, yeah i had so. to i yeah. but it was like are you kidding me i have to be on tv like i was i was young and i didn't have a voice and I, it was just i've said this before and i'll say it i'm super grateful for the opportunity but i wanted to burn the wardrobe <laughs> uh, until i think i don't know if it was season eight or nine i started to be able to cover up a little bit but um it would <laughs> You just had to own it, you know? And it, it is what it is. Some of them were more comfortable than others. I really liked the costumes for the most part. Um, I, I liked the variety. I liked being able to show up and do something different every week. And running in heels. And running in heels. I mean, I wasn't always like Mary Sunshine. Sometimes at three in the morning it was kind of brutal, but I think the most inconvenient one was stiletto because it was pleather on pleather, so I couldn't sit down so they had to build me like a um, Hannibal Lecter kind of thing. It was like a dolly with an apple box on the bottom and I literally would finish back up onto it and sit there and, and watch you walk around in your jeans and t-shirt. And I was like, wait a, a minute, I signed purpose. a different deal. Um, we talked briefly backstage that, uh, you know, I, I've never actually done that, <laughs> you know, for real. I mean, what you saw on the show, that was all, manufactured to, to look easy. Whether you knew it or not, the role of Kara coming in from another planet and not knowing who these people it are. It worked. It worked, yeah. Yeah, I, was, I, I, I would never been on a set like that before. It was a huge show. I didn't know you guys. I felt like I was from another planet. Perfect. So, I mean, it was great. I just, similar to Erica, I was like, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, that this is happening. I'm going to get fired. They're going to figure out I shouldn't have been cast. Like, you go through that as an actor. I think it's pretty common when you're the new kid in school. I don't, some of you might know I do a podcast with Michael where we rewatch the, the episodes and then we talk about them and some things you may not know. And I think it holds up pretty well. I mean, because it, it's a story about identity and it's a story about heart and family and, um, I'm not sure what really changed it. it maybe, not, maybe nothing should change, you know? Um, yeah. So I would just like to ask, from all of the seasons of Smallville, did you have like a favorite episode and why? That's a good question to end on. Well, I feel awfully sentimental about the very first one I came, came and did it. It really sticks out in my mind because of, you know, it was just the first one. And then I really liked uh, season eight the whole season, because I started to, I was able to be uh, a little bit more of the embodiment of Lois, which I liked. There was an episode called Fracture, um, mm -hmm. where Supergirl has amnesia, and Lex Luthor is the president. That was nice, just because I had an opportunity to play someone that wasn't uh, Kara for an episode, or I think it may have been a couple, but it was like playing a, a, an entirely different character on the show. And Tom? Well, I, I kind of have two. I always think the pilot was, is, is really awesome, just because of the way it establishes the world and wanting to see more of this and where these characters are going to go. But um, I also, a, a, an episode where I didn't play my character was, again, John Glover, was called Transference, where we switched. And it was just a lot of fun to do that. So that's one of my favorites. Thank you.